Well, as uh, the September 21st, uh, 2024 election uh, hots up and uh, we gradually get closer to it, there's always this uh, impression about what the electorate has about the candidates uh, that are gunning for the Osadebe Avenue and how to really uh, pinpoint qualities, characteristics to be able to determine who the cap fits has been on the crossable, on the front burner on the minds of every Edolite uh, ahead of this September 21st governorship election. And uh, discussing this with me, I have a seasoned um, public affairs analyst and a senior pastor of Sword of Liberation Bible Church, social media influencer, Bishop Austin Igbasan. Thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Uh, 21st September 2024 is getting closer. And uh, there are some who have said that uh, for the electorate to get it right, they must pinpoint some characteristics and qualities to fetch out who the cap fits. Uh, what's your impression about these uh, qualities of looking out for someone who will be able to succeed, you know, the administration of Governor Gordon Obasiki? Well, uh, there are a few things that uh, must be put in place that we must consider in casting our vote for uh, September 2021. One of them is capacity. Another one is competence. And the other one is character. Mm. So I, I call it Operation Triple C. Wow. Competence, capacity, character. Number one, we must look at capacity. Whenever you are, uh, we want to present people for leadership, novice or people that know nothing about leadership cannot be presented as a candidate. Now, we must also look at antecedent of whosoever is being presented. This man, that man, or that woman that we are presenting, in, in, uh, what is the capacity of this person? What is the antecedent of this person? What has this person been able to do in one capacity or the other that he or she has functioned before? If that person is somebody that holds a political position before, we begin to look at the track record of such an individual. What has this person done? With because the Bible says when you are given, uh, when you are faithful in little thing, you'll be given a bigger thing. So what is what has this person been able to do? Why this person was able to hold this office, either little office or not? What has been uh, the person been able to do? Yeah. But we'll be able to also look at uh, somebody that have character, because if you if you look at uh, uh, if you look at our state, for example, uh, leadership you can separate leadership from character. Character in this uh, in the aspect of. Uh, Having respect for electorate, you have been, we've been able to see some politicians that it is when election comes that the electorate matters to them. When the elections are over, they talk tough to the electorate. They don't value the, 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 the condition of the electorate. They are not available. They don't have their ears on ground. You know, democracy is a government of the people. The people, if you look at people, are mentioned three times in the definition of democracy. Mm -hmm. That means that the leadership in democracy are the real people. That is, the leaders in democracy are the people. The people are the decider. Then, if a leader in position wants to take a decision, it should be a decision that is going to benefit the people. The people must be at the center stage. Any, any policy anybody in power decides to do without putting the people in the picture, it is, it, it, it is a selfish decision because democracy is about the people. If the people will be called. The Bible said, you see, democracy starts from the Bible where the Bible says, come, let us reason together. Mm. Come, let us make man. You hear human beings are political mama. I will use the other language. We are political mama. Now, he said, come, let us make man. That is why it is only human being that God wants to create and he called the council of heaven that let us make man. The government of us that is why every man has a political inclination. So the government of the people. So we must look at if anybody, if the person coming on board has not hold any political position, let us look at in any capacity the person has functioned before, what has the person been able to do? You cannot divorce somebody's yesterday with that someone's today and tomorrow. So the position of a governor is a, not a position of a novice. It's not a position that somebody is going to, to come on board and the person is not the best of us. We must be able to present the best of us. 
in, in every class, if you are going to say somebody is going to be a class captain, you don't use a, uh, somebody that is not vibrant to be a class captain. Okay. If, if you are going to say this is a class rep, it is not, not the last person in the class that you make the class rep. It means that this person is the best of us. We are pushing this person. Then the rest of us who felt that this person is the best, let us put our hand to give a support to this person that is the best. So the position of a governor is not a position that somebody will not have capacity. Okay. You must have capacity. You just shared very, very brilliant ideas. And, uh, but some wonder that those who can be seen as the best brains or those who can be seen as who the cap fits, eventually never find themselves wearing the cap. Uh, rather, it goes to those who the cap really don't fit. Uh, don't you think that could be a challenge in uh, the it, it, politics? It, it, it has been a challenge for us that getting our best to find their way there. You know, most times the best, the best doesn't have the platform. They don't have the money bag. They don't have the backup of the political godfathers. They don't have the authorities that be to be able to push them in there. So, and, and I think that we cannot wait forever. Because if we continue to allow the status quo to repeat itself, there is no time that there's going to be a revolutionary change. And I think that the revolutionary change must start with the people, the people to be able to say, we are going to decide this. If you look at in the party system, the people's voice does not matter. It is just some few persons who are in charge of the party that decide who becomes who, either as a candidate of the party. Now, we are the people, the real people in the party have a voice. They must be able to pick their best and say, the best today must be coming up. We must encourage our best to start coming up, even when they don't have the money. The people, when people become the center stage of democracy, you will see that the issue of money will not really matter because I, I, I remember vividly, money was made available in the last election, but because some of us make up our mind to say we are going to vote for uh, Governor Basteki, we mobilize people all over the place. And the money that was brought available to buy election, the money was put to shame because people were ready to, they came out. Even when it was, uh, the atmosphere was charged that, oh, they're going to refer that mind, they're going to be this, and we have many governors from uh, uh, a central party uh, here in town. But some of us make up our mind. We became high neck by ourselves. Like somebody like me, we distributed people all over the place. Pastors all over, all polling booths. We set up a central stage and we said, all our, we mobilized people with very cool, that some people will pay their hotel bill to stay around so that they can be able to vote. The awareness was high. People said the status quo will not be maintained here. In the those that and those people will decide who becomes their leader. That no one man will stand up and say, this is going to be your governor. We make up our mind. And against federal might, well, the, the likes of Gandhi, all of them were here in Edo State, and uh, we saw what, what was happening. But the power of the people, the awareness we pump into the church and the masses and the people to say whatever might is coming from anywhere, the might of the people can subdue any might. Right. It's only when the people are not conscious, politically conscious of the power they have. Because there are a lot of people now who, be, who believe that either I vote or I don't vote, my vote is not going to count. Some people did not have PVC now. Some people did not go for registration. Why? Because they lost interest in the system. Uh, exactly, exactly where I'm driving towards. Because some have said that uh, the pe leaders uh, seem to control those they popularize. And the best way to control them is to continue to make them be in penury and abject poverty. It has been the whole song, you know, even in the capitalist economy. Mm -hmm impoverish the people then they go begging they go cap in hand and then you can use them you can utilize them now how do you see a change narrative in this regard because even the electorate because uh, like you may mention of the money bags mm -hmm. you know they gradually get closer to a point where they start inducing voters mm -hmm. you know as the election gets closer like campaigns are here again uh, the election get closer they find a way to influence the voters to influence the electorate because there is hunger in the land. How can the electorate maneuver their way through to avoid this? It is very important. Uh, some of us, we right from the pulpit to the pew, we go around and tell our people that, you see, suffering is as old as creation. Uh, poverty is as old as creation. And if you want to, because of poverty, bury your tomorrow. That, that would be an, an irony that you can be hungry and decide and say, this is what I want to become. There are poor people today who are gate men and they have principle. 
that even though if their boss want to, to press them down, they have a principle that I will not eat from here. Daniel said I will not eat the king's food. I don't want to defy myself. And he stood out among the, all the house of rep that were presented then. Among all the senators, Daniel stood out. We are telling our people that we must be able to decide the future of our children. Any woman, that, that's why you see that there is no woman in labor that lick ice cream to give birth. If you see a woman and say, oh, oh, doctor, please, I don't, I don't always give birth like that or unless, uh, unless they put ice cream in my mouth, that is where my baby will come out. There is no woman like that. Why? Because you cannot take sweetness in the place of pain when you are looking for gain. Mm. And we tell people that it is a period of pain and we are in labor pain. We want to push out baby. We must be at the pain. We should not look for ice cream now. Now, we should be at the pain so that the gain can come. If we don't be at this pain, as the masses, our children are going to suffer times too. So this time is a type of decision. If you like, you bring money. The same way we did in uh, uh, the last election. There was money made available. There are people that they brought money to their community, yet the people are poor and they make up their mind. Uh, there are communities that reject money in those states here. That they are poor, they are living in a hut that they don't have door. But money was brought to them, and the people said, take your money away. We want, that, we want our life to be better. It is not going to be that we will sell our conscience. They are poor. They are living in abject poverty, but they make up their mind. I right. think that what we are doing, some of us, what we are doing now is to tell the people that there is no time that poverty is not, is not a New Testament. It is as old as creation. And if you want to change the narrative, you must take a decision once. Okay. We are fortunate to be joined by a, a public affairs analyst, uh, a prolific author, a political uh, analyst, and also a rights activist. We're talking about uh, St. Moses Iromoselli, <laughs> a.k.a. SME. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to have you join us. Yeah. And uh, at my extreme left, I also have uh, a political affairs analyst, a political analyst at that level from uh, also a social media influencer, Precious Abayimbe. Thanks for coming, Precious. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Let me start with you, um, St. Moses. Uh, a whole lot has been said about the September 21st gubernatorial election uh, that is going to be taking place. And some have said that uh, who does the cap fit? What are the qualities we should be looking out for in fetching out one who the cap fits because we've been in an era where some say he who the cap fits eventually don't carry the day don't have the opportunity to wear the cap it's true so what are your thoughts in this thank you philip for this opportunity uh september 21st elections at the corner and uh, Edo state stand at the threshold between modernity and the ancient life if we want to go further in september or no if you want to go backwards to the stage where we used to be civil servant states and no productivity and all that, we'll decide to September 21st. And to decide that we don't have to be sentimental. We don't have to look at my brother or my friend or my tribe. We have to look at capacity. We have to look at, uh, of course, it, it does, it does with competence. We have to mm. look at uh, character. character. We have to look at compassion. We have to look at a number of factors. And I've looked at all the candidates. I've looked, at, I've looked through all the candidates of the major parties that have chance at this election. I've seen only one party presented one with capacity. Another party is presenting somebody who is struggling to understand the difference between the zoo and the museum. Who does not know the distance between, between what? a zoo and a museum? Who does not know the distance between Iroa and Akoko Edo? Who does not understand the intricacies of governance? We cannot afford to experiment this time. We need somebody who has held positions of trust commensurate to a do state governorship mm. position. For example, if somebody has held a position for the first time, it's happenstance. It's what? Happenstance by chance. Okay. If it ho holds the same position the second time, maybe coincidence. But for the third time, it's deliberate. <laughs> and that we can use that to rate this person. The party, People's Democratic Party, is parading somebody. Well, 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 well uh, just okay. go ahead. Go okay. ahead. It's parading somebody who has held the position three, at least three times, of uh, heading a PLC. For example, the uh, Nigerian Bureau, somebody has held Nigerian Bureau as chairman, 
Stelly Bank as chairman and has held a uh, Dangote Flower Mill as chairman. Such a person, you cannot say that that defines I'll, I'll come back to his you. competence. I'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, why, why we uh, throw the issues up and we, uh, you know, interrogate it. Uh, basically, we don't need to bring about uh, the promotion of any personality or party. But let's just go about okay. tackling so, the issues as they, as we come. Okay. Uh, well, let's get your views as regards what the characteristics should be like, what the qualities should be like in fetching out one who will succeed, Governor Gordon Obasik. Well, thank you very much. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that. Um, I love the PDP narrative, so I mean, as it were. Uh, it's just that there's so much deception, deliberate deception in their narrative. Uh, every word that the patriotic Edoma is supposed to describe what their expectation should look like is uh, is deliberately being misused. Uh, uh, why do I say that? Uh, my very honorable man here said that we, sh we, we, we are not going to look at sentiments. And I disagree. You cannot take out sentiments from politics. It, it, it now depends on what your sentiments are. All right? Uh, I believe politics is patronage. I believe politics is local. So when you have a group of people telling you that politics has to be digitalized, politics doesn't have to go back to the old days, and I begin to ask myself, what is the old days? Is it about personalities who cannot affect their people? What is the use of having big personalities as community men, as people from your state, yet you cannot have a feel of their generosity, of their, of, their, of their humanity, so to speak. Because beyond all of these we are saying, politics is different. Governance is different from the private sector. If you are trying that at the PDP, uh, don't forget also that uh, the people also seem to be tired of the APC. When you say they are tired of APC, it's, a, it's not about the broom, not the umbrella. It's about the individuals that we're having. Mr. Philip, I, I cannot imagine if I had a community man, when I say community man, I mean a man from my state who has been a powerhouse in so many companies, according to their narrative. Chairman this, chairman that. And you cannot tell me that in his about 65 years of age, there has never been a trace of patronage to your state. These are, when you say this next election has to be about character, these are the characters I, 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 I honestly look out for. Because you can't change overnight. Some have said that for us to get it right, for us to have someone that will succeed, <coughs> the governor, Agolino Obaseki, we need someone who is articulate. We need someone who can differentiate between you know, variables. Do you see the candidate of the APC as that? Where's that easier said than done? Okay, the APC candidate is not just a stranger. It's not just someone you need to stick out your neck to look out to try to recognize. You're talking about someone who has been given the responsibility to champion the, the leadership of a major section of the three sections in the state. When I mean three sections, I mean the three central districts of the state. Okay, that person cannot uh, be said to be a new fight. He cannot be said to be a pushover. So, this same person did not just come out of the blues. He has been an ICT merchant. Against all propaganda that you hear, of course, I'm very happy the times are getting right when these individuals will begin to come out and face the people. You heard him say, uh, one who is not able to differentiate between the museum and it's the zoo. zoo. Uh, I, I'll take that to be a deliberate insult. Uh, you see, words are in a manner of speaking. And most times when you have a slip of tongue, people tend to, 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 to want to take this to be a face that you have. 
it is it is laughable and uh, childish for me that uh, the PDP would be would begin to go about with this narrative. And uh, when you say that you are deliberately insulting the, the good people of Edo uh, Central, because the man you are talking about is their senator, the current senator representing Edo Central. So how would you say the totality of the Edo Central people saw a man who has always lived with them, who has always been their neighbor, and they decided to choose someone who, according to them, does not know the difference between... Very good. I'll come back to you. Let's get your thoughts, uh, Bishop Austin Igbasa. <coughs> Some have said that there are a whole lot of gap, you know, that uh, the Edo State government needs to push up towards in order to close the gap. And uh, what do you see as a gap that should be closed in the governance in Edo State that will require a Mr. Fixit? And who could that be? Uh, in terms of the qualities? In, uh, you know, there is no, to, like I tell people, there is no government in this world that can fix all the problem of humanity. And even as we are talking right now, some people are still blaming God for their problem. <laughs> even after he has given them children, they said there's no school fees for the children. Some are blaming God why they are married and they have not had children. So that tells you that as mighty as the almighty God is, people still talk about the ones he has not done for them. They, now, uh, there are a lot of, there are gaps. Like I said, there is no government that can fix all the problem of humanity. Uh, the issue of the government of Edo State is, I think that the government is a bit far from the people. I'm speaking, I'm speaking as Bishop Austin Ibasa. Uh, for over, over going to uh, 33 decades, I've been in Edo State here, doing the same thing, putting things in the, right from the day of Nadeko. So I'm not a small boy as far as politics is concerned. I think all those who have governed this state now, with respect to only Chief Lucky Ibenedo, is older than me in politics. All the people that have ruled this state to date, there is not all of them came to meet us here. Uh, we, have been, we have been setting a template for Edo State to be able to get good leadership and good governance. So I feel that uh, the, 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 the governor, has, as at the moment, did some uh, laudable work, but I feel in my own, there is a disconnection between the governor and the people. There is a disconnection. So it is possible you tie my road now, and I don't come out for the day of commissioning. Do you see that affecting the uh, candidate of the party? Definitely it will affect if the gaps are not closed. There is none of the political party we are talking about today that does not have uh, issues within the party system about how their candidates emerge, uh, uh, interest of uh, people. Because politics is, a, is about some group of people come together and each of them have different interests. And this area of interest must be protected and put together because a house must not be divided. You may mention of the three C's, character, yes. competence, and capacity. Capacity. Uh, could this not be qualities found uh, as a pedigree and the personality of the candidate. Now, the, the, the masses must look for character. You see, uh, uh, there's a parable in my place that if, for somebody to have a wicked charm, you must have been able to kill your twin's brother. If you say you have a dangerous charm and you have not killed somebody in your own family, nobody will fear you outside. Okay, but are you what, saying by what, this, what are I you mean saying mean by this that? that such qualities cannot be found in the PDP? No, what, I'm not talking of party. I'm, I'm talking a, about candidates. Okay. I'm not going to talk about party. I'm going to talk about the candidates. Okay. That capacity, uh, character, and competence must be seen in the people that wants to lead us. They must be seen as people who have said something before and they brought what they said to pass. A man that told you lie before, you can't take him serious when he's saying he's telling you the truth. So we, we analysis must be done by the masses to look at these three candidates, we are going to look at their brain capacity. We are going to look at their exposure. We are going to look at the position they have held before, if they have held any position, to be able to say, uh, why, why, why uh, Chief Lucky Benedo became governor of Edo State as a result of what he, his performance as already the local government chairman. That was what speak for him against all all because people saw that why he was governor and uh, why he was uh, chairman of the local government he, he he did some things that affected the people even the market were the masses and the rest of them so when it was time for him to co co to contest they were looking at what he did at that little position the bible says when you are faithful in little thing that the faithfulness will be seen in bigger thing 
You cannot tell me you are a big man in my community, and I will not see that you are. As I'm here tell, talking to you, Philip, I have more than 50 widows that are paying salary every month. Nobody pays me salary. I have widow, pastor's widow, that are on my playlist, that their husband are dead, and I don't know them. I gather them together. I feed them. I, I took care of them, even their medical bills. I don't know their husband, why their husband was alive. In my community, I was instrumental. I bought the transformer there. We bought wire and everything. Even when and, and, and the person we should write that they are the one that owns it after buying it. I was instrumental to the time of the law. I'm not a governor. So if tomorrow I decided to say, ah, Bishop Ibasa want to be a chairman of local government, people will say, ah, he gave us this. He did this one for us. What we are talking about, we will be able to look at why they, I am not an advocate of anybody that holds a political office should be looking for another higher office. If I'm going to be a president of this country, I won't allow it. The reason is that why somebody is holding a political office and is pursuing a higher one, it affects the performance of the person to the grassroots. <laughs> I can tell you that, as we have it now, the constituency of each of everybody competing will be affected because they have a bigger focus now. Okay. It All will right. be like a distraction. So to me, I'm talking about candidate competence. The people should look at competence. They should look at character. You cannot vote for somebody that will embrace you now, and as soon as the election is over, it's unreachable again. We will be able to talk to somebody you can feel. You, when you have pain, you call upon God. As we see as the Almighty God is... He still listen to your voice. We must vote for somebody that can listen to us, that can be close to the people, somebody that will be a servant leader, okay. not somebody that will be a boss. Okay, I'll get back to you. Uh, let's get your reactions over what he said about the uh, lapses in Edo governance that could also affect the candidacy, the candidate of the party. And some, again, I I've said a whole lot that... Uh, it's almost impossible for the uh, candidate of the party to go along with the governor because he, he feels uh, he will not be able to, you know, uh, canvass for uh, support by virtue of the lapses in Edo governance. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I will quickly react to his and my brother's uh, statement. My brother talked about uh, patronage in governance, talked about what the other guy has done in time past and... He also talked about uh, the same similar things and that uh, we need to look at the competence, the character, what the person has done before. I agree with them to a very large extent. And, but to add, first of all, we look at this candidate, the candidates the parties presented. To be fair, each and all of them have done something, have held positions before. They have track records. They have track records. <laughs> track records. Does not mean that they have pedigree. Uh, that's suitable for this position. But they have done something before. One, one is a current a, a, a senator. One will, has held positions, several positions. We don't even need to, we, we, we've lost count of these positions. And the other guy has also held positions in the NBA. You know, um, brilliant positions, brilliant people. They all have, but he talked about something I really admire. We have to look at uh, patronage, mm. he, like he said. We also have to look at sentiment, like he said. Let us now begin to zero down, assuming, but not considering that we are looking at the sentiment. The sentiment here is this. this one of them is holding position as a senator. From my district, yeah. our people did not say go for governor. Our people voted for him because we understood his limitations that he will be able to relate with us at our level, speak our language at our level. Even though he had not been with us, he had been in Joss all his life. He went to school, from secondary school in Joss. He was away from the Central. We gave him the position to be senator, to represent us in the Senate. Till date, he has not been able to push one bill for us. One. He has not been able to even take the palliative that the president brought to a Joss Central to share. He has not. He has not done anything in the city. He has, like he said, he has lost focus. He's pursuing a bigger horse. When he, a normal horse. Is he, that what he said? That <laughs> is what I know. You're making reference to what Bishop no, Bostick has said. Yes, that's he what he never said. said. He never said that that's about the candidate saying. of the APC. No, no, it's, it's not about people generally. Okay. And I'm now localizing it to okay. our position. Okay. So it's such a person, it's a problem for us to support. Because we need him to stay in the Senate. We need to bring another champion. Who understands the state? Because the sentiment now is the state election. It's no longer a village election. It's no longer a provincial election. It's a state election. We now have to deal with people from Akoko Edo, and we have people from Oriamo, uh, from Banke, from all over the states. 
So you don't need only a language to communicate. So, but don't people. you think? Do you, do you see the Edo, Edo State governance, the lapses, yeah, as the, having a negative impact? The, the, on for the Edo State the governance, I'm not invited to here to talk through. about the Edo State government. I'm not even competent to talk about the Edo State government at the moment. I can only speak as a citizen of Edo State. And that will be at a program where you invite me to well, talk. Talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, do you see the, the lapses as affecting the candidate? You talk about lapses as if it's already a statement of fact. There are no lapses. Oh. There are lapses in every government in history. There were lapses in Abu Zali government. There were lapses in Adam uh, 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 government. There were lapses in Obama's government. There are lapses in everywhere. But comparatively, this government I don't want to speak about it, but let me just drop this. This government of Godwin or Baseki, since 1999 to date, is the government with the best record. Infrastructure, civil service is transformed it, infrastructure is transforming it. He has done a lot. He, this uh, uh, bishop said something about a kind of a disconnect. I may to some extent want to concede to that discussion. The people at the moment did not understand the connect what he was trying to achieve and look, thankfully the governor is trying now to work on that disconnect to bring a better connection to close the gap it's, to close the gap it's not that he has not done he has done marvelously well better than any government from 1991 to date I by your perception by every parameters of judgment by every true even while i was in the apc and i was invited to the studio to talk about this government. Oh, you were in the APC, yes. you cross capital. I moved from the APC about a month and a half ago. Okay, Even that's, I was in that's the as a result of absence of ideology, political ideology. Because, no ideology, because of the ideology. The ideology changed because... Is, there, is, there, is there political ideology yes, in there the is. parties? Yes, there is. There, there, there. Because, because the ideology are, was that we need a candidate... The ideologists, why find it so easy to cross capital? It was also easy to the most difficult decision I took. But it was necessary because we are going to produce a governor that will affect my life for another 80 years. That will affect my children's life for another 80 years. I will not, because of sentiment, support a candidate that I was not convinced about. A candidate that I interrogated closely, closer than I'm even close to the other candidate. And I thought, oh no, this is not going to work. A candidate that, was, that would give me, I, I'm a member of the committee. I was given a position in the committee, in the social media. But I dropped it. I said, no, I need a dusty to be better. We need somebody. I embrace the other guy who is a bit distant. But he has the pedigree. He has the capacity. He has the character. He has the compassion. And he has the charisma. All right, I'll come back to you. Let's get your reactions, precious. Uh, uh, some have said, well, uh, uh, the big parties in court uh, have not really favored the electorate because uh, we keep talking about the promises they make why they are on the road to be elected. And uh, they make homongous and bogus promises. But after they've been elected, the story changes. You find it impossible to even connect the people with those who govern. Now, don't you see this as gradually shifting from the hands of the PDP and the APC into a third force that could be having the capacity to occupy Osadi Bay Avenue as the governor? Well, uh, I don't think so. You see, Philip. Politics must carry along a very good level of sincerity. Because where's that cheap? It is very clear. If I, from these three major uh, political party um, candidates, if I was going to labor them in numbers, I would put the candidate of the PDP at the far third. The reasons are obvious. Show me your, your track record in politics. Because politics is as good as life itself. Politics bring about every uh, uh, result you find in our society. Politics bring about the decision making that can affect generations. So it's pivotal now, to human existence. De definitely. Now my question is this. For instance, I was, I was uh, 18 when I started making certain decisions for myself. I come from Oriom on local government. Please listen to this very good uh, uh, illustration. I, I come from Oriom on local government. I was born and bred in Oredo. While I was growing up, my father used to take me to Oriom. Marriages, uh, elections, and uh, 
of course, family activities. It got to some point when I was 18. It was not left for me to make decision whether I want to continue in Oyo or stay back in the, in the Oredo that I was born and uh, grew up. But I knew that what my father suggested by his actions was very, very vital to me. So I continued to patronize, to patronize uh, 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 my Oreo people because tomorrow I know questions will come. Now, if you were born in the States, you grew up there, you became an adult, all your life you probably obviously got married from another area, I don't have a problem with that. You have been successful as an individual, developing yourself. You and I know that this cannot automatically transform to, to, to political uh, uh, excellence in governance. Because we have never seen the traits that you were ever interested. Just, uh, Are you talking uh, about the homeboy theory? Yes. I, I, I so much believe in the homeboy, I mean the homeboy theory. It works. It works. It gives you a sign of those that can actually be compassionate. Because people use words when 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 they when they don't really find the actions to match the words how do you explain to me that a man that is asking for your vote to become the number one citizen of the state has never taken the responsibility of voting another person you just you well just, that could be allegations uh, that's true. Uh, that could be allegations uh, uh, that's uh, that has not been proven that's the, completely not true just in the last exercise this same individual got his authentication of... That's not true. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. It's a transfer he did. But that is the fact that this is the first time you are coming to vote in a those states. That's not true. Um, you can you, you can bring up proofs later, but you have never seen it in any pages of the newspaper. You have been chairman economic team for how long? Over a hundred years. But there has never been any time or evidence of trace that you have taken up a political responsibility. In this state, and now you want to, you want to have, you want to have the people place you in that office, a very sensitive office that can, <coughs> that can attract, that can attract good governors. I, 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 I cannot believe you. I cannot believe you at this point. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, can, can you just before I get to Bishop Bostic, but can you just quickly respond to that? Yes, thank you very much. I, I want to respond because he's making some very wide because allegations against the individual. He said this, this individual is not known in this community, has not been involved in their community affairs, and that's completely false. That's fallacious and that's malicious. I'll quickly explain something to, to him. This man from Ewohimi has never been governor of the state. This man from Oyohimi has never been a councillor in this state. This man from Oyohimi has never had any executive positions in this state. But I will tell you, I've been to Oyohimi. I'm sure you have never been to Oyohimi. I've stayed in Oyohimi for three years. You can't be sure. You can't be sure. I'm staying in Oyohimi for three years. My wife worked there. My wife's a medical doctor. Was a doctor in the general hospital there. We were staying in Oyohimi. So I know about Oyohimi. A kind man in that particular community where the man came from. And the man, it was in this community that Oshomole married from. This man is the one who gave them water. Can he, he cannot be come to Oyo to give you water now because it's not. It's for his village. He gave them water in his village, and that's the biggest problem they have in the Wahimi community. One, when they had power issues, he went to the minister. There are documents way back over 12 years ago. He went to the minister in Abuja. He fought for a power solution to come electricity to come to this community. Okay, okay. And currently, they have problem with the electricity. He's intervening. Oh, okay, when okay, okay, issue, okay, he's intervening. But, but I want you to make comment about this, his participation in past electoral in process. In past election, he has always voted. He has always voted in like elections. Like he said, there are no records. He doesn't have that. records. He doesn't even know about his participation. How will he now have records about his voting? He, and again, do you have if records? I have records. Okay, so because sorry. He okay, let me say, let me start from his own record. He said he transferred his vote. So that's one record. His own statement that he transferred. It's all, you cannot transfer what those It's true or false. So it means that he existed. So the details are immaterial. The yeah. fact is that this guy okay. is a voter in a state, has been voting in a state. And we we'll vote in a those state, and that is not even a yardstick to determine the person that will govern us. Ambrose Ali was called from the University of Benin. He came from abroad, from he just came to the University of Benin, and he was called to govern our state. He did not speak our language at the time. He didn't speak Asian. He didn't even understand Asian. He wasn't he was a homeboy. He wasn't a homeboy, but he changed the fortunes of our state. We told him, okay, the other guy is okay. a homeboy. Oh, he didn't okay. even go at home. Go okay. to do, you, do you agree that the candidate of the PDP is not a homeboy? He kind of is a homeboy. That's what I'm saying. He's a homeboy. I'll tell you. He was a homeboy. I've spoken with him himself. 
he said, even he was always in our palace in Benin here. He grew up as a boy playing in that palace. So my what he mean to Benin, to Ife, to live, he went to study like me, I was born and raised in Benin. I'm not from Benin, I'm from Ewu. I was raised in Benin. I grew up in Benin. I traveled to Germany. I stayed a while in Germany. I came back. Will you come now, homeboy? I know my town. This man knows his town. But the other guy does not know Kokoedo from Iroa. He says it's, two, it's, two, it's 20 minutes, so it's two hours. Okay, okay. Can you, can you please, uh, Bishop Austin uh, do you see an opportunity arising from this uh, argument uh, that could also translate to the decision of the electorate? It will bring in a third force. Uh, it is possible. You know, it is uh, when you look at the story of Lagos, uh, Sir Michael, Tedola of Blessed Memory, became governor of Lagos because there was a problem between Agbala Jobi <laughs> and Sarumi, and they became sworn enemy even when people tried to resolve them. And that was why the name of Tedola means rebellious become my honor. Now, the man who was just an ordinary man became a governor because people said these two political giants who have been around for so many times and they refused to resolve their problem, it became a platform for late Sao Tedola to become governor of uh, Almighty Lagos. So you think so, history will repeat itself? Uh, no, people, people have to take decision. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, me, I'm not even after somebody stay at home or does not stay at home. What is important is that you have character, you have capacity, you have confidence, you have compassion to be able to, to meet with the people. I'm concerned about the people. I'm not concerned about, uh, I'm concerned about the people. Anybody can come from somewhere. We have uh, uh, somebody uh, who, who was a uh, chairman of, M uh, uh, president of NBA. Within a short while, he turned the, things, uh, the whole things around in that place. And he, he, was not a, he was not a home boy. What I'm trying to Are say... track records enough? Uh, what I'm saying is that leadership starts from somewhere. Mm. All the people that became our leaders today... Oshomone has never voted in a dual state. I can say mm -hmm. that. He has never voted. And people like us sat down. Uh, while the government, uh, government of uh, 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 Chief Lucky you know, was going to an end, we said we are going to look for somebody who will be versatile to continue from there. And we, we brought him on board. We can paint one all over the place. So if we are talking of somebody holding something for the first time, people come to this world for the first time. Have they come before? So, so that somebody is coming for the first time does not make the person a novice. What is important is about capacity, competence, and character. Okay, well, there's, there, there's this great talk about body, money back politics. Yes, we said it. We said it earlier. Yes, money back politics. Can that not stiffen the emergence of the third force? Uh, the issue is that it is about the people. When the third force is able to speak to the heart of the people, if they are able to uh, speak to the heart of the people, the people will come out. Let me say this: one. political awareness is what our people need. When we are able to see people who are close to them, I'm concerned about candidate that is close to the people, that is talking about the people, that the passion is about the people. Are you get what I'm saying now? Mm. Now. That there are so many things uh, he, he pointed out about uh, about palliative. If you have looked through the television and see Senator Yayi in a good state, what that guy did with palliative, with all due respect, I think uh, uh, Senator Oshomona is the only senator we have now. For now, he's only somebody that wants to deceive himself. Go and see what uh, Senator Yayi did in a good state. It was you are asking yourself, if, what these things this guy gave to people and empowerment is it not from the same Senate? And how are we going to talk about that one? If it is meant for the people, the people should have access to it. We were all here during COVID-19. When people are going to medical store to go and look for to go and look for what was brought to take care of the people. So what is important is that my take is that the people should look at candidates. Okay. See, Philip, no matter what money bag have done in each political party. The people can take decision to say this man is competent, this man has capacity, Thank you. this man has character, Thank this you. man has compassion. Thank you. Let's go this way. Let's give you one minute each to round off. Uh, starting with you, precious Abangbe. The office of the uh, governor is the most important office politically in the state. It is not an office with which you test uh, a man that is just coming into politics for the first time. Like a great horn, you mean? Yes. Like a great horn? Yes. Because should be told, should be told. When you say character, when you say track record, you now ask yourself, track record in governance? You now ask yourself, where is this, this character All right. coming from? So I, I believe that those people must make a choice between who wants to take their head Thank you. and give them a car. Okay. I, 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 I believe that those people come September. In one minute. We'll make that choice. Okay, in one minute. Um, <laughs> 
Have uh, I made my own? No, 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 no. Sent okay. Moses. Okay. 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 In uh, one minute, your remarks. Edo State 2021, 2024 election will be about our future. We should decide what we want, whether we want to continue to use cabbage and uh, cucumber to make our stew in the light of the economic hardship we have today, or whether I want to change. And we also want to ask a question, whether I want to do the understanding that a do state, we want a do central to produce a governor so that move, power can move around in okay. an orderly manner. Right. And that's why I want to advocate for the candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, well, well, in one minute, can you make your remarks? I want our people to look at compassion, look at competence, and this is not a time for you to sell your conscience. The pain of a little time can bring gain if we decide to say we will not monetize our conscience. Please let us look for competence, character. Well, uh, the governor have done a lot of work, and I, like I said it, All right. but we, we need a build up from there. Let the people take their decision. All right. All right. Do take their decision by looking at competence, character, and compassion. Thank you, Precious Abangbe. Big thanks to you, uh, Senior Pastor of South of Liberation Bible Church, Bishop Boston Ibasa. Thank you. And big thanks to you, uh, St. Moses. Thank you very Hiromoseli, much. Yeah. A prolific author Thank and uh, a right activist.